So I have been asked in YouTube comments recently what it is like over in Playa de Moro at the moment, if there's anything open, if the hotels are open as well, and what it's going to be like for an Easter holiday. Well, I thought I'd just pop over to Playa de Moro just to have a quick look. But if you are coming over for the Easter holidays, well, I've already seen plenty of hotels that open, but let's have a quick look around to see what you can expect. And the first thing I have to say is that you can expect to see a lot of cyclists over here because, well, I'm right outside the Bike Point Cafe in Playa de Moro. You will have seen in my Porto Poyenza video just how many cyclists we have over here in Mallorca at the moment. And many of them are starting their journeys over here in the Playa de Moro area. Now we're going to head across the road to the beach. We're going to walk down the beach and we're going to come back through the resorts and we're going to see what's open. So I'm coming up past the Ibero Star Playa de Moro Hotel. I can see they've got a lovely ice cream shop and that is already open and they've got plenty of people outside too. But let's go and have a quick look at the beach. And check out the views that we have from Playa de Moro today. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you would have seen in my video from over on Alcudia Beach, the big changes that are going on down there. If you haven't seen that video, I shall link to it at the end of this video. But as I'm coming along Muro Beach here, you can see that there are no little Chiringuitos on this section of the beach at least, until we head further in the direction of Can Picafore. Now, I will be doing a live stream from down there, or I may well have recorded the live stream from down there by the time this video goes out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check that notifications bell too, so you do not miss that video. But it'll be interesting to see also what happens to those Chiringuitos a little bit further up this beach. But for now, this beach is quite empty actually and even though we've got lots of cyclists in the main resort and also further up having some lunch as well, there are plenty of cyclists who have come down to the beach to, to chill out in the sun and to cool off in the sea too. So if you are coming over here to Playa de Moro for the Easter holidays, we are coming early on in the season. Well, what can you expect? Well, I have been asked if it's going to be lively down here. It's not going to get lively down here in Playa de Moro until the 1st of May, until the official start of the summer season. However, there are plenty of hotels open and there are bars and restaurants that have opened up as well. You're not going to get a really, really busy vibe down here. If you want to find some life, I would recommend getting the bus down towards Alcudia Port if you are staying up here. But like I said, these early holidays early on in the season are just that everything hasn't opened up yet so you can expect to find things to be a little bit quieter than maybe you would do over in the summer months so we've got some big big hotels over here in Playa de Moro I'm just round the back here of the Iberostar Playa de Moro hotel and we're going to soon be approaching the Melia Esperanza hotel too so on a day like this when it's lovely and sunny and the sky is blue, there's nothing better than to go on a massive walk from, from Playa de Moro, either in the direction of Can Picafort or down towards Alcudia Port. And, and that's just a fantastic walk, whichever way you decide to go. If you are coming out over Easter and the weather is a little bit iffy, you may get a showery day, we may get a rainy day. Well, there are plenty of things to do up here as well. And all of them are pretty much accessible by the bus too. So if you are staying in Playa de Moro, don't forget to check out the market days that are taking place over in Alcudia Old Town which is on the Tuesday and the Sunday. You've also got an, a market taking place over in Porto Poyenza, Old Town as well on the Sunday. And also you're gonna have a market over in Porto Poyenza on the Wednesday. Now I do have a video on my channel as well about some interesting places that you can visit by bus. So I shall drop a link to that in the description text below this video. But you're in a great location here to do some sightseeing around the north east of the island. There's plenty to see and do. It might not be summer, but you're still going to have a really lovely time. So 
So we're just coming up to where you can see Can Pick a Fort far away in the distance. You can also see a very empty lifeguard tower as well. And we're not going to see lifeguards in these until the very, very end of April, but most likely the beginning of May. But we're going to head off the beach now and head on through Playa de Moro. I'm going to have a quick look to see what is open. Just coming away from the beach here. You can see we've got summer getting underway. We've got all the uh, umbrella poles that have been deposited right at the beach entrance here, ready to be put into the sand for the summer. Now I, I do find that the umbrella rentals over here in Playa de Moro are a little bit more expensive than they are on Alcudia Beach. As you will have seen in my update video, Alcudia Beach is expecting a 40% hike on sunbed and beach umbrella rentals for this year. Let's see how much they're going to be down here in Playa de Moro later on in the season. So just coming up past the Playa Esperanza resort, we've come out to a little cluster of restaurants which are now open over here. Now the Can Pescador I suspect has been open throughout the winter, very popular seafood restaurant. You can see there are quite a few cyclists in there but look, we've got some shops open over here too. Now, as we can see by literally the swarms of cyclists that we have over here today, it really is cycling season down here in Mallorca. And there are plenty of cycle shops that run all the way to the Playa de Moro and down through Alcudia and down into Porta Poyenza as well. Look, this could be a place to pick up some extra ly lycra. You've got lycra tops here for 15 euros or two for 25. Plus you've got some bike rental too. These are more my kind of bikes, the mountain bikes, but they also have some racing bikes for rent too. If you're coming over with the kids too, look, you've got your mandatory buckets and, and spade sets as well. You've got beach umbrellas that you can buy because obviously we haven't got the sun beds out yet. Beach umbrella here is 14 euros, a little bit more expensive down here than maybe in some of the other places I've seen. But you've got everything here, look, sun cream, the whole lot. And we have the hugely popular Willy restaurant, which is also open. A little bit like Wimpy, it's very cheap down here as well if you want to grab yourself a burger and a bite to eat. But this whole section of Playa de Moro looks like it's pretty much open. Let's see as we continue down through the resort if everything else has opened up to. We have found some places though that are waiting to open up until later on in the season, if they're going to open up at all actually, but this is quite a big a cafe restaurant area here. I think I came down here last summer, so I think that's going to wait until we have more visitors in the resort. But look, if you are coming out, you're not going to starve. There's a little uh, spa shop here selling some essentials. There's some more restaurants as well, and even look, we've got a little ice cream shop too. And if you are looking for somewhere quite beach clubby, we've got the uh, Guy Can Sushi Bar and co Coffee Lounge, which looks very nice. All this is open. Plus, a little champagne bar that we have a little bit further up to. And we have the Dakota restaurant open over here in Playa de Moro too. Just like we saw down over in Porto Poyenza, uh, menu del dia here is 19 euros 50. I think it might be a little bit more expensive over here in Playa de Moro. I'm sure it's around 18 euros down at the port, but go and check back on that video. So just coming up outside the Viva Blue Hotel, we're coming up to another cycle shop here. somewhere else maybe we can go and get some repairs or go and get some bits and bobs for your bikes
that really is cycling mania over here in the northeast of Mallorca at the moment. And another shop too, look, another, another bike shop right next door to. I'm pretty sure as well if you're over here on your own and you do want to go out on the group tour, you're going to find plenty of recommendations. I know very little about cycling. Let's see if I can't get you some more information about cycling for this year. Now look, I'm outside another rental bike centre here too. And this looks like my more my kind of scene here. Look, we've got electric bikes too, which you can rent over here in Playa de Moro this year. So I've come back round in the full loop here. I'm outside the Ibero Star Playa de Moro Hotel once again. We can understand why this area has been so busy with cyclists, just basically because of the sheer number of bike shops here, repair shops and equipment shops, and how Playa de Moro has catered for these holiday makers. It's absolutely amazing. passing another huge spa shop too. And a little bit further up, well, we've got the huge restaurant at Boy, which is also open. And guess what? It's absolutely packed with cyclists too. But Playa de Moro also caters for kids. So we've got some kiddies rides here. These aren't up and running at all. And they've got a fun world across the road. I don't think that'll be open for Easter. That's more likely to be open for the, from the 1st of May onwards. Okay, everyone, that's just a very quick update from over here on the Playa de Moro resort. And we can see that there is plenty open, particularly if you're coming over here on a cycling holiday. Let me know below, actually, in comments if you're over here cycling at the moment and what you think of the services over here for fellow cyclists. But from what I can see, it looks pretty popular. Anyway, I'm going to be back here in Playa de Moro very soon, particularly when the season starts. So consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I'm going to drop a couple of videos here and here on YouTube that you may also find useful for information from this area too. If you're coming over for an early season break, enjoy yourself and also feel free to drop some photos over on the Facebook group too. And I also have a whole article about things to do in Playa de Moro on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.